All right, we're back for, for part two after getting booted out of our conference room. Um, well, into, into a much nicer conference room, yes, to be it, honest. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we talked about the client in the last video. Can you tell us now, let's, uh, sorry, we talked about the, the, uh, yeah, the, client. The, cloud, the client. Now let's talk about the, the cloud. What are you up to there? Um, so the cloud is clearly a, a hot topic at the moment. Very excited about the work that we are doing with uh, the OpenStack community. Um, OpenStack has emerged, I think, as the, the profound center of gravity for all of the um, open source work around uh, public cloud computing, private cloud computing, hybrid cloud computing. Um, and the caliber and, and quality of conversations there is, uh, is, is fantastic. Um, particular, excited about the upcoming uh, LTS release, 12.04 LTS, and the matched uh, release of, of OpenStack, where I think everyone's focused on delivering a set of components that can be deployed uh, at scale and with confidence. Um, and the timing, the, the, you know, the, the, the joint interest in, in having that all come together is, uh, is, is very clear from all the conversations that, uh, that we're having. Um, really excited about um, the developer story also, um, the connecting the dots between the way developers um, iterate their applications and, and particularly complex sort of multi-tier cloud style um, applications and deployments, how developers manage that on their workstations, and then how that gets handed over um, into test and then into production. Um, so that is a very um, exciting area for us. And so, yeah, to that, uh, that end, the, the whole idea of DevOps and, and yeah. DevOps distilled, uh, maybe you get into a little of that. And then the other question I had, which we were chatting out about before, was, uh, Apple's dominance uh, on the desktop now when it comes to developers, something that they've taken away from, from say, the ThinkPad or whatever people were using ahead of, uh, before that. It's just some, some thoughts around those. Sure. Those I think DevOps has grown up out of this, the recognition that, that really successful web companies had, had very effective, very efficient relationship between um, Dev and Ops. And, uh, you know, that they had people who would, who would often sort of sit on both sides of that of that divide, and they had very um, concise practices for for the interface between Dev and Ops. Um, handovers from Dev to Ops for testing and production um, were you know, highly automated or highly structured and essentially highly effective. Um, in a cloud world, that that is increasingly relevant because the pace of deployment is is so much is so dramatically increased. Uh, you know, you may well be rolling out big chunks of complicated infrastructure multiple times a day. And so professionalizing that process is kind of what we think DevOps is all about. Um, and so looking at our own practices, looking at how we do this for some of the big complicated sort of web infrastructure that we lead, um, out of that grew um, a, a desire to be able to abstract away the, the underlying infrastructure from the conversation about how big pieces fit together. Um, you know, if you if you if you see these conversations, there's always a whiteboard and there's always a block diagram which has lots of parts which are connected. And we essentially want to be able to say, let's take that block diagram, distill it down, and and then reuse that knowledge, whether it's the developer deploying onto their workstation, or whether it's um, ops essentially deploying a test configuration in the cloud, or whether it's ops deploying in production on on the metal. Um, and so Juju, as a tool, grew out of that idea. That you want to you want to um, conceptualize and distill in one place all of the dependencies, all of the um, timing issues, all of the scripting black magic that you use to bring a service up, and you want to reuse that across all of these different communities and scenarios and infrastructures, whether it's a public cloud, private cloud, on the metal or on a workstation, um, and so that's that's come together very nicely. Um, there are now many, many Juju charms, so if you want to bring up a, a Rails stack, or if you want to bring up Node.js, or if you want to bring up um, you know, OpenStack, then it's easy to do because other people have already distilled the expertise that they have in those pieces of infrastructure and how to connect them together into a set of Juju charms. Um, so I think everything's come together, you know, it's a lot of fun. Very cool. And then, as I said, with on the developer side, we're getting to the, the question of the laptop and yeah. and Apple sort of usurping uh, the the Windows type of area. Uh, what what do you see there, and, and why do you think that is? Well, I think developers are developers are courageous adopters of new technology, and they and they're passionate about technology, 
and they're confident. They, they, they will do what they think uh, will work, and they're, they're, they're confident that they can make things work, even if what they're doing is new and, and, and kind of pioneering. So it's not surprising to me that developers are, are adopting Mac OS. It's beautiful, it's well-designed, um, it's Unix under the hood. Um, and similarly, you know, we, we capture some of that love with Ubuntu. We focus on making it beautiful, we focus on making it not designed, we focus on um, uh, the sorts of workflows that developers are interested in. And then we have that raw power under the hood, right? It's um, all Linux, all open source, all current. Um, so so that's, that's an important thread. And what, what I think is particularly interesting now, though, is this convergence of cloud deployment and workstation iteration. If you're, if you're building a, uh, a web app today, you're working with databases, load balancers, app servers, your app, um, and you're working with um, uh, tools that are changing very quickly. You know, if you look at all the NoSQL tools, they, they, the, the pace of change in that whole arena is, is phenomenally fast. And you're deploying to the cloud, and you're deploying, um, you know, if you're successful, you typically want to pr bring some of that back to the metal where you can control costs um, more effectively. So, so the intersection of all of these, I think, is really beautiful um, for developers. Uh, uh, you, you, you can now essentially get a, a Unix workstation with Ubuntu that is as usable as, uh, as it would be with a Mac, um, but you have more flexibility, more freedom in, in choosing you know, the capabilities of that workstation. And you can iterate your, you can, you can set up your engineering process, your development process, you can iterate using tools that will be exactly matched to what ops will use to, to deploy either in the cloud or on the metal. Well, I think that's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I'm going to have to, to remember that and, and uh, keep, uh, keep the dialogue going about this, uh, this new developer-type effort. Mark Shuttleworth, a pleasure as always. Thank you so much. Nice to chat, Bob. Stay well.